Working with text. Adding text to your drawings is really easy in Visio. Visio 2013 offers you all the formatting tools that you're already familiar with from other Office programs. Plus it makes inserting text onto shapes or directly onto the page a snap. In this lesson, we're going to cover how to add text to existing shapes, create text boxes, position text on shapes, and add screen tips or comments. To learn to add text to an existing shape, we're going to use the flowchart we created in the last lesson. Click on a shape to select it, then type the word text. Click outside the shape to add the text to the shape. To edit the text in the shape, double click on the shape. You can now go to the Home tab and format the text. We're going to change the text size so it's easier to read. In the font section, click on the drop down next to the text size button and select 16 point font. Click outside the text box to see your updates. In addition to adding text to shapes, you can also add text to use as page titles and the like by creating text boxes. To create a text box, go to the Home tab and click on the text button in the Tools group. Click and drag a text box onto your page. When you release the mouse, you'll see the text box on your page. Your cursor also appears inside the text box. Now you can simply type your text. Now go to the Home tab and click on the Pointer tool. The text box will then be closed, but the text box is still selected. You can then resize the text box using the handles on the sides and the corners. You can also rotate the text box by using the circular arrow above it. You can also use the tools in the font and paragraphs group under the home tab to apply different fonts, colors and styles. You can also create lists or align the text within the text box. Let's make it a bit larger so we can see it. Adding text to a shape is easy, as you already know from this lesson. However, the problem with adding text to a shape can come when you try and rotate the shape after the text is already on it. Let's add text to another shape. Now if I try to rotate this shape that I've just typed into, you can see what would happen. When we rotate the shape, the text is rotated with it, but we want the text to remain horizontal. To fix this, you can use the text block tool under the home tab. Click on the text block tool. Using the circular arrow, you can now rotate the text. Visio also gives you two methods to provide people who view your drawings with extra information. This information doesn't have to be visible at all times, meaning you don't have to put the information in the text boxes or on shapes. Instead, you can add screen tips and comments. If you add a comment to your drawing, there will be an indicator in the drawing to let the viewer know that the comment exists. The comment will include the name of the person who wrote the comment and the date that the comment was made. In Visio 2013, a comment shape can contain multiple comments from different people. Screen tips, on the other hand, are pop-up text that's only displayed when the mouse points to a shape. You won't know the screen tip is there unless you point at a shape that contains one. Before we learn how to add a screen tip, let's also explore more templates and stencils. That said, click the File tab and click on the New tab. In the Category section at the top, click on Network. Then open a basic network diagram. You can click on that once and select your measurement type and then click Create. Next, go to the Shapes window and click on Computers and Monitors. Drag the tablet computer shape onto the page. Go to the Insert tab and click on the screen tip button. You'll then see this dialog box. Type in some text and click OK. When you mouse over the shape, the screen tip will appear. To add a comment, select the shape for which you want to add the comment. Then go to the View tab and click on New Comment. A dialog box will now appear next to the shape. You can type in your comment and press Enter. When you're finished, click the mouse outside the dialog box. The 
icon here at the top of the shape will appear next to the shape to let you know that the comment exists. You can then click on the icon to see the comment.